Greetings. This is Sumigradia Baksha Walter, Earth Based Records, and uh, of course, continuing our work with Lauren Daigle Music. And this is a report on the tensions between the United States and Russia. Uh, we talk a lot about Ukraine, in particular, in the news, the conflict zone with the United States and Russia in uh, Europe. However, Russia has clearly stated that they will uh, extend that conflict to our borders, in particular in Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, that's very good. Is it lately? Um, and so uh, the uh, United States and uh, Russia fighting on, in, on two places, not just in Ukraine, but also here in Cuba, near the American uh, Florida border. Now, uh, what that means, uh, remember that President Obama, uh, I believe, in 2015, normalized relations with Cuba, the island nation, near the Bahamas or the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and um, Yes, the island of Cuba, which has normalized relations. We have an ambassador. We have an American embassy in Cuba, and Cuba has an embassy in the United States. The issue uh, about Ukraine is you know, whether the United States wants uh, is gonna is gonna support Ukrainian membership in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, which is you no know, North. Uh, northern countries like you know, Scandinavia, uh, some of them are not even in it, but they're, they're Northern Europe anyway. But uh, the United States, of course, here in the Americas, you know, is uh, still part of NATO. But the issue in Ukraine is, you know, whether the United States will uh, support the, uh, the, 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 the the NATO membership of Ukraine, and over here. What Cuba is asking for here is you know, the re releasing of sanctions, economic sanctions, you know, in the way of uh, food and other uh, types of assistance for Cuba, the food in particular, because you know, you know, if uh, you have a support from Russian alliances in Cuba, Bahamas, etc., of course, the United States is the closest country that might be able to provide you know, food. Although you know, Cuba makes a lot of their own food as well. So, uh, the overall thing is the trade-off. Now they're talking about, you know, both sides don't really want to fight each other in Ukraine. Uh, you know, uh, there's no official war in Ukraine. The fighting is ongoing, but there's no official war uh, yet in Ukraine. There's a large number of Russian troops at the border of Ukraine and a small number of uh, Western uh, troops, you know, to counteract whatever might be happening in Ukraine today, just as Cuba, you know, for a year uh, uh, being run over with a protest movement, and we don't know who exactly was protesting. They arrested about 700 people uh, in their ongoing protest investigations. Of course, we had an incident in Congress January uh, 6 of 20. Uh, 20, I guess, 2021, uh, where in um, 2021, where we had, you know, the same types of problems. Uh, in summary, the uh, key to uh, peace with Russia and to avoid a war is to trade off that NATO membership and with, you know, some food uh, and, and, and uh, uh, economic lifting of economic sanctions uh for Cuba, that's my best assessment because Vladimir Putin, you know, has counter threat. Uh, it's a counter uh, position, you know, to our uh, uh, threat to to, to to defend Ukraine with our troops. Of Vladimir uh, Putin, the uh, president of Russia, uh, has uh, offered to you know uh, support uh, Cuba here at at our uh, borders. Shmirk Radio for Buck Show, Walter on Earth Based Records, Lauren Dagan Music, signing off for now.